made some hover pants, I might come to your house and do a nibbly little hover dance. I'd fill my pockets with rainbow spit, then I'd float to the town. I'd throw space mallows to the blurred babies of Minimus Mound. If the blaze got scared and set to stop, it would not faze me. Because if I got some hover pants, you know everything would get so crazy. If I had some hover pants, I'd blow up balloons and eat all my pizza with wrinkle cream spoons. If I had some hover pants, I'd swim through the trees. I'd only eat chocolate bars, lampshades, and bees. My wings would be lengthy, tied back in a braze, and I'd teach Jolly Ball and Chuckles the way they should be played. I speak only in Zgraxian and wear hats on my feet. A shiny and chirpy pink parakeet. When your morning is tough or things don't go your way, don't be sad. Just know that everything is okay. If you accidentally swat and puzzle bear's new cracker sculpture to the floor, or slam your ex-girlfriend's antenna in the door. There's no need to weep or screech or yell something mean or jump into the bay. That's way too extreme because everything is okay. Yeah, just take your space chicken for a walk or find some chalk and color a rock. Color with a strawberry and roll around. Befriend the Martian lunar hound. If you were to frown when the sun went down, just leap onto a sleigh and shout, hooray! And go to the wake him all to the prey. Oh, no, 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 and hey, hey, hey. And listen real good for what he has to say. Are you listening? Everything is okay! I once met a man named Bilgis Macaroni. He sat up very high on a space testicle pony. His eyebrows were like slybros you only see in a dream. From his boots bubbled chocolate and cherry ice cream. His hat could dispense hot caramel sauce. And I knew in a minute he must be the boss. I gleebled and gloobled and flew right up to his horse mouth. It asked, which way did it go? So I pointed south. He quickly bounced away in his steed, splashing in all the rain puddles. I shouted as he left, you could probably use some more cobbles! The end! Catbug says, if you were a vegetable, what would you be? Be that now while I wish him a little tune. Catbug says, go sneak behind King Kongle's hood and tap him on the shoulder. Now run away as fast you can. Catbug says, don't be a big meanie. Look how sad King Kongletoad is. Say sorry for what you just did. Catbug says, okay, good. Now jump in the bed for 10 seconds and try to kiss your elbows. I'll do it with you. Uh-oh, something smells poopy. It's okay if you just do it because we have lots of paper towels and extra socks. Did you just do it? Yes or no? Catbug didn't say Catbug says. <laughs> Catbug says, next, hug your knees to your chest and shout, my cow is a lovely hell slapter. Catbug says, good, okay, let's dance now. Would you like to come to a very fun party with me? We could dress up in these barracuda costumes and swim upstream in the Fruity Punch River. Catbug says, see this amazing and beautiful cake I made just for you? Don't you touch it. It's not finished baking yet, and you might get sick. You can lick the spoon, though. Now that you're done with that, which one do you want? Truth or dare? Tell me. Catbug didn't say Catbug says! <laughs> Catbug says, you are my best friend, and you did such a great job. Let's go have some tapioca. Today is Space Chicken Awareness Day, so please be extra nice to your local representative. Maybe you could offer them some butterscotch pudding. Question, how many space chickens does it take to power wash the side of the bravest warrior's hideout? Answer, infinity! 
Infinity Space Chickens! Can you even believe it? Yesterday, Purple Gravity secretly gave me a box of Chip Monopoly and chocolates. Impossible, didn't see. Contrary to popular belief, the glamorous life of the space chicken is not full of serious talking and standing around, but only pecky, flippy, dancey times. Your mom would say the best cure for six space chickens is sugar peas. Space chickens love to have their beak shined every day with butter and hundred dollar bills. On Sunday, I saw Robocris secretly trying on a big beak in the mirror. I think he made it out of paper mache. When I drive a tractor, I make sure to have one space chicken on the hood to look out for danger, and two more on top to help me back out of my parking spot. I tried training Purple Gravity to do circus tricks. When I threw a ball at him, he did not catch it. Math time! What kind of space chicken has five cabillion teeth and only one arm? Also, it's not blue, but each tooth is really just a piece of popcorn, and it's definitely not a face flicking. You see the answer out loud. You're right. So very right. <laughs> okay, let's stop now. Oh, Wallace, it's really nap time.